Welcome back to The House Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did the demolition in this laundry room. One of the things you need to keep in mind when you're doing this type of a project is how much debris you're actually going to generate. This small little room, which is about 8 by 5, filled a pickup truck completely and it was well over a thousand pounds of debris. You may want to consider the Bagster which you can buy at most hardware stores or if you have a truck available or a trailer call around and find where the local landfill is. Just make sure you have a way to get rid of all the debris so it doesn't end up in your garage or your driveway or your yard like your neighbors do. This is the house that has the laundry room we're going to be renovating. We're in the kitchen right now and it leads into this little alcove here. You have a door right ahead which is a closet. The door right here leads to the laundry room as it exists right now which is kind of small. And we have a door here that leads out into the shop which some people call a garage. So let's get started on the demo. All right, first thing we need to do is get rid of a couple of these doors. So now, just with the doors off, um, hopefully you can get a better idea of what's going to happen here. Closet will be coming out. This wall here is going to be coming out and that's about where the wash tub is going to be and as I said earlier the washer and dryer are going to be moved up against that wall. demolition work is a reciprocating saw. Um, I wouldn't recommend just taking this and going straight through the wall but it does make quick work of breaking things apart and letting you get where you need to go pretty quick. I want to give you a quick look at how much debris we have already and all we've really done so far is pulled out a couple of door jams and this pile right here isn't even the doors that are already outside. Okay the door jams are out of the way now we'll start taking down the drywall. Everybody has their own technique but really nothing to do but get in there and start tearing it down. So far we're lucky in this wall here, there's no electrical or plumbing that we need to reroute. One of my previous videos, I had a tool that allows you to make a small hole and take a look inside the wall so you'll know ahead of time. get your drywall down you're going to want to start taking your studs out you need to make absolutely certain you know that it's not a load bearing wall last thing you need to happen is you're cutting out studs and the second floor or the attic comes down on top of your head
All right, the drywall's all out, and you can see what some of the things are we have to deal with. So one of the things we have to just be aware of, there's not much we can do about it, is this ductwork that goes up to the second floor. And on this side, this is a return duct from the room on the other side of the wall. Just have to uh, make sure we get that sealed up well when we cover it back up with drywall. Here are the existing hookups that for the washer, the drain, the outlet for the dryer. This here is a vent pipe going up and out to the attic. There's no sinks up above. And the plan is to take all of this over onto this wall here. It's the original floor to the house. And you can see we have a giant step up right here to the tile floor that runs into the kitchen. To take up tile, I like to use some tools like this, a big chisel and a big thumb detector. And of course, glasses to protect your eyes. See how there's no adhesive, no mortar stuck to the back of this tile? Not a very good job. That explains why the tile is cracked all throughout the kitchen. found this video helpful be sure to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos where I'm going to be showing you the process of completing this renovation <laughs>